Hello, Christ Church family. Uh, it's good to get to visit with you again, and I have to tell you just how pleased we all have been at the way we have started off with worshiping in the sanctuary. Uh, people are practicing social distancing. We've been able to keep everything clean, and it's a good first start. We're about to enter into a more complicated phase, and that is when we start talking about how do we open other things up? When is the rest of the building going to be open? When can Sunday school classes meet? Well, we're working on that right now. But I want to let everybody know that this next step involves a lot of different pieces. When we decide to open up Sunday school, we have to think about what that looks like, not just for the adults, but for the nursery, for our students, and for our children. How we use our space, how we keep it clean let alone when we're going to do that, which is also a piece of the puzzle. But I want to give you every assurance that this is something that's being discussed every week. And when we have a plan in place, we will unveil it to you and we'll make everything known that needs to be known. I gather that it's frustrating not knowing when things are going to happen next. I have to be honest with you, I'm frustrated too. I'm frustrated about not knowing when we can take the next steps, and I'm frustrated about having to make decisions about things that we used to take for granted all of the time. It got me to think about what Paul writes when we have to deal with our hopes and our expectations in a season when we don't really know all that's going on, because that's how I feel. I want to share with you these words from Romans chapter 8, beginning with verse 24. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. I am hopeful. We should all be hopeful. A day is going to come when Christ Church is fully back in operation, and I sincerely believe that we will be better for this experience. But I'm also in a place of not knowing. I can't see exactly what's going to happen. You can't see it either. And this is why we count on the Holy Spirit to pray for us when we don't know what to pray and to encourage us when we get discouraged. So what I ask for at this time is just your prayers and your understanding. Continue to pray for your leadership and for your staff. And when we can't answer your questions or if we give you an answer that maybe isn't the answer that you wanted, I ask that you treat everybody with a measure of grace. We are all trying to do the best we can with the information that we have. And even in spite of ourselves sometimes, I'm absolutely convinced that God will do something great at Christ Church, and we will all be blessed for it. I look forward to joining you again in worship, either in the sanctuary at 8.30, 9.45, and 11, and I look forward to joining our online live stream community as well at 11 o'clock this Sunday.